Joining us now is St. George School Superintendent Mike Felton. Mike, thank you for being with us. Okay, you've been described as an energetic salesman who can navigate the state education bureaucracy and make big dreams a reality. What's your dream for trades at your school, Mike? Yeah, I think the first thing I'd say is that this whole project really comes from our community. Um, it's rooted in our community, and it's, it's the hard work of the community and our educators that have brought us to this point. Um, our dream is we want all kids, pre-K through 12, to have access to hands-on, minds-on technical learning that's connected to career and community. Uh, we're working to create the nation's first pre-K through 12 CTE, career and technical education program and construct a CT makerspace building next to our school. Hmm. Um, we want all kids to be able to sort of follow their passion and find the career path that works best for them, whether it's um, in the trades, in the technical fields, or in another field, but treat all those paths with respect and dignity, and from a very early age, expose them to the possibilities. Let me ask you, Mike, we've got the stats on the screen there, 204 kids pre-K through, um, uh, or, or on the lower level, sorry, they put it down through eighth grade. The high school right. level, 93 um, kids. It's back up there, grades 9 to 12. So how do you take it from a small scale like this and make your dream a reality on a larger, wider spread scale, maybe at a state level, maybe from there it takes off and it goes national? Just tell me about how you see this developing. Yeah, I think it's a lot of this is partnerships with local organizations and businesses. We've got over 30 business sponsors for the project that are not only contributing financially, but working directly with our teachers and our students. And in every community of all sizes, um, there is that opportunity uh, to partner with your local businesses, with different community organizations. And a lot of schools are already doing this. Um, what we want to show is that you're able to do this at very young level, at very young ages. We have our kindergarten and first graders who are, um, you know, hammering nails and putting uh -huh. together tools toolboxes or cutting two by fours, wow. um, measuring and cutting two by fours. So, um, and we have middle level students mm -hmm. that are programming Lego robotics. What I love is that you're partnering with businesses in the community as well. How is that partnership going? It's really been key. Um, our teachers have done an amazing job. We have a local contractor who's come in the past few years. You see him in the picture right there. Um, he and his wife work with our K-1 students, and they've made toolboxes. They've made birdhouses. Um, they measured the length two-by-fours, um, cut them with saws, um, and, and made snowmen um, to, to their height that they brought home to their families. Um, wow. We have students who go to a boat-building shop in Rockland called The Apprentice Shop. And we're doing this in partnership with Midco School of Technology, which is our regional technical high school, um, to really have a pre-K through 12 model. So through the entire educational experience, kids get this. And I think it's important to stress this isn't a separate track. This is being integrated into how we right. teach. Mm. And, and it really connects into the, our roots as a, a rural fishing community. Mm. Um, but I think for most communities, the, and there's an increased recognition of the port, importance of hands-on work and hands-on minds on learning. So um, that's what we're trying to bring, bring back. And, you know, we were recently recognized by the YAS Prize as one of the finalists. Um, and they recognize the most innovative projects um, wow. in education, um, projects that are sustainable, transformational, um, outstanding, and permissionless. Um, and that's helped us mm. share our story on a much broader nice. uh, level, and we're really grateful for that. Mike, we love it. As soon as we saw this story, we knew we had to speak with you. Best of luck to you and all that you're doing, and may those kids prosper as a result of it. Mike, thanks for being with us. Thank you all very much. We appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. You bet.